you always hear me say get this credit card get that other credit card this has this return on span this has that return on span but do i do what i say hi guys and welcome to the channel if this is your first time to the channel we're talking about credit cards points finances and travel if this is something that interests you please like this video subscribe if you have any questions or comments leave them down below i will get back to you as soon as i can first let me start by saying that uh, the wallet on the thumbnail is not really my wallet I don't have a fancy wallet like that. My wallet is the same for the past five or six years. I have this fossil leather simple card holder here that I've been having for all these years. So yeah, buy once, cry once, remember? <laughs> so guys, I've been talking about credit cards. I've been telling you what to get, what not to get. What do I really have in my wallet? For this video, I didn't change anything in my wallet. I literally grabbed my wallet, I sat down, I made the presentation based on the credit cards I have in my wallet right now, and this is the real thing. This is what I have as everyday use now that I'm not traveling. Of course, this setup will change once I start traveling. Next month, I'm going to Costa Rica. I'm gonna get some different credit cards, uh, but for now, everyday use, this is what I have. Number one, Freedom Flex. Can't go wrong with this one. Number two, Freedom Unlimited. So two Chase credit cards. American Express Gold. American Express Business Plus. City Premier. City Custom Cash. I have two of every setup, guys. And I swear to you, I didn't even try to do this. But of course, that doesn't conclude the video, right? Let's jump to the presentation and come back to wrap it up. So for the purpose of this video, I decided to give you a full presentation of these credit cards. I, we're not going to go into the details, but I wanted you to see what you get right now with the current offers. And I wanted you to see if they're worth for you. Uh, so American Express Gold for the first year right now, 60,000 points after spending 4,000 in six months. Uh, we're not going to go into more details, but I am using this credit card for groceries. That's the number one reason why I have this credit card. And number two is restaurants. The return on spend is 27% for the first year. Uh, the uh, business plus is incredible. If you have uh, an American Express setup, this is the credit card to have 2x on everything. When I got this credit card, it didn't even have a sign up bonus. And right now it has 15,000 points after spending 3,000 in three months. So the return on spend doesn't impress, but it's still 11%. It was nothing before on the chase credit cards i have the freedom flex uh 20 000 points or 200 dollars as they call it after spending uh, 500 in three months uh, i use this like this month the rotating categories is for gas i'm gonna this is my gas credit card the gas prices are sky high i change the car bigger engine burns more i realize i spend like two to three hundred dollars uh, a month on uh, gas right now it used to be a whole lot less the gas prices were lower um and of course as i said to previous videos my commute is very short so don't be surprised uh, me being surprised with this kind of money that i spend on gas incredible credit card uh you can't go wrong with this one and 45 percent is the return on spend and on the freedom unlimited it has exactly the same sign up bonus 45 percent is the return on spend and this is uh, basically the 1.5 on everything that's its main feature when we go to the city premiere uh, i have not really used the 100 credit uh, so far this year but i haven't traveled really the multipliers this is why i have this credit card always with me if i don't remember uh what i should use for what or uh, they don't get american express credit cards for whatever reason i use this one always and it always works so incredible credit card the sign up bonus on this one is eighty thousand points after spending four thousand in three months is a no-brainer guys eighty thousand points right now for four thousand dollars so you're gonna get at least eight hundred dollars cash value uh the return on spend is 27 percent and the custom cash i freaking love this credit card there's no other way to put it you're getting two hundred dollars or twenty thousand points after spending seven hundred and fifty dollars in the first three months uh the 5x is going to the highest category that for that month so now that my freedom flex has the 5x on gas this will not be my gas card anymore it will be something like groceries 
or, or restaurants we'll see uh because i do use the gold for that for groceries but uh yeah 5x is more than 4x even though for most of you the american express points would be more valuable but as we know we never stop on the first year but on the second and every year after to see if these are keepers and for me personally guys all these are keepers i have most of these credit cards for a few years now as always to calculate uh, the return on spend on the second and every year after uh, we're using the imaginary budget of $12,000 equally spread between travel, restaurants, gas, and groceries, so $3,000 each. Based on that, uh, the gold has a return on spend of 6%, the business plus 3%, uh, the Freedom Flex is uh, 3.5%, uh, the Freedom Unlimited is 2.8%, the City Premier is 45 and the Custom Cash is 75 now, don't be surprised that you see different numbers. I see the custom cash, you're saying, okay, uh, it's a 5X credit card. How come you have it at 7.5 or the premier at 4.5? Um, or even the uh, business plus, the American Express, uh, how come it's uh, at 3% and not 2% because it's a 2X? These are also points. You can transfer them. You can potentially get a whole lot more value. If I had to remove one of these credit cards from my wallet, it would probably be the Freedom Unlimited uh, because it's the weakest. It has 1.5 on everything. I can use the American Express uh, Business Plus to get 2% on everything. That's half a percent more but at the same time i do have a very good use case scenario for chase points chase points uh first of all are uh, equivalent to one cent per point at the very minimum if you use it as cash and uh the best case scenario like my use case scenario i use them for uh, hyatt so i transfer them and these points are 1.8 cents per point where the american express points in my use in my experience give me only one x i understand many of you get a whole lot more we're not gonna get there we talked about this before so so looking at all these credit cards next to each other um we're looking averages now we're not gonna separate them we're not gonna rank them this is not about ranking this is about total return on spend uh as a group of credit cards and for the first year if you were to use these credit cards you would get 31 percent and for the second year and every year after 4.5 it was actually 4.55 so if i was to round this number up it would be five percent as i've been saying lately a lot at the very minimum you need this kind of return on spend with inflation be so high i understand that uh, in the previous years this wasn't that important but i think that especially from this year and for the next year or two uh, this will be increasingly more important to be getting this kind of return on spend. It's going to help you with inflation. That 4.5 is not going to make you rich, but it's going to offset some of the inflation that we see lately. Inflation has affected travel. As you see, guys, the kind of questions I'm asking are not generic. I'm not asking you if you like pizza or burgers or whatever. I'm asking you serious financial questions because I really want to know where you're standing. And from what I see, most of you use these credit cards for travel. Uh, this is uh, what you like to spend your money on and you don't have any debt. So I know that this, uh, these credit cards would collect points for you to travel. And travel especially has increased. The inflation on travel is crazy. It's crazy right now. I'm trying to get cheap flights. I'm trying to get cheap hotels. I don't know. Can you find some? Please let me know in the comments below because I can't find anything. So that 4.5, 5% potentially is going to help you a lot to do all this travel and at least offset some of that inflation. I think it's fair to say at this point that I am doing what I say. But let me know what you guys think, if you have any of these credit cards, if you have a mix of different uh, ecosystems as I have. Uh, I didn't realize I was really 33.33333% between my three ecosystems. Uh, I honestly thought I have more Chase and American Express, but I, it looks like I have Siri too. So yeah, let me know what you think, what's in your wallet. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, ciao.